For eight generations, the Leverton family has been burying people. An old-fashioned funeral cortege. It's still a sight that stops us all in our tracks. I think most people are very impressed. And you see a lot of people stopping, maybe if they're wearing a hat, unusually taking a hat off, holding their collar, crossing themselves. And I think it is a moment where most people, perhaps they do reflect on their own mortality. Leverton's is one of the oldest and most prestigious undertaking firms in the country. The funerals they've directed range from one of Dr. Crippen's murder victims to Baroness Thatcher. There's only one chance to do a funeral. It's got to be right every time for every family. And they must have what they want. In 1997, they directed the funeral of Diana, Princess of Wales. I flew over to Paris to bring her back to UK. It was very demanding, and I was conscious of a lot of emotions that were being manifest as we went about our task. We were right in the eye of the storm, as it were. We had 27 other funerals already arranged for that, that week. And we looked after all the families equally well. So, do you ever get nervous? Yes, very. This is our oldest ledger, Keith, from October 1895. Total cost of the first funeral there was five guineas. And then moving on yeah. to April 1941. During the air raids. These poor people were killed in one, in one block of flats, was demolished. Mm. Between them, brothers Keith and Clive have notched up two years short of a century in undertaking, custodians of a family business that started in 1789. It all started with John Leverton, who was my great-great-great-great-great-grandfather. He was a carpenter in Devon, and he came up to London at the end of the 18th century to make his fortune. Part of his job for the local community would have been to make the coffins, and he would also have undertaken to do various other aspects of, of work for the funeral. Gradually, during the 19th century, it became more of an industry, principally because of Queen Victoria's mourning for Prince Albert made funerals more fashionable. And when the graveyards became too full, funerals had to travel to the place of burial. The carpentry and building work became less and less important, and Leverton's as a company could um, do more and more of the uh, funerals. Clive's daughter Pippa is the youngest member of the family to have joined the firm. I think some people are very surprised to come across a female funeral director. Right. Women have always been involved in the care and love of people, whether that's from newborn babies, delivering babies, looking after the sick, and that care continues right through to the end of life care that they, women have always provided. OK, that's an Orkham 610 by 22. It's a profession that some might regard as ghoulish, but it's a job that runs in this family's blood. I was 12 when I spoke to the careers master at school. Went round the class and those who knew at the age of 12 uh, wanted to be engineers or footballers or something quite uh, high-flown. And I said I wanted to be a funeral director like my dad. Pippa, her cousin Andrew and his sons, the ninth generation of Levertons, visit the family gravestone. A lot of people have asked me, why do you do your job? If at the worst time in a family's life, you look after them all through the process, and on the day of the funeral, they come and find you on this terrible, terrible day, perhaps crying their eyes out. They throw their arms around you and say, thank you. What can be more humbling than that? <laughs> <laughs> 